God makes it very clear. In Jesus Christ alone, we can settle our past, safeguard our present and secure our future. Only in Jesus, only in Christ, we can settle our past. That's what we read in the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 23. Bible says like this, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Only Jesus can forgive our sins because he was punished in our place. He took all the punishment upon him. He carried all our sins upon the cross of Calvary. That is the reason in Acts chapter 2 verse 38, God says like this, Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins and you will receive the Holy Spirit. You see, only Jesus can forgive our sins and settle our past. And only Jesus can safeguard our present. That's what we read in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 1. The Bible says like this, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the Spirit. You see, for those who are in Christ, who are walking in the Spirit, pleasing the Holy Spirit, they have no condemnation, no damnation for them. God is promising that. And in the book of John, chapter, 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, the Bible says like this, If we confess our sins, Jesus Christ is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. You see, only Jesus Christ can forgive our sins. No man can do that. Only Jesus can do because he is God. Only God can forgive our sins. You see, our past needs settlement. That happens when, when we take baptism in Jesus' name, repenting of our sins, receiving forgiveness for our sins, and receiving the Holy Spirit. And in present, what happens when we are in Christ, when we walk according to the Holy Spirit, there is no condemnation. And in future, that's what we read in the book of Jude, chapter 1. Verse 24 through 25, Bible says like this, Unto him that is able to keep you from falling, unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior. See, Jesus is God. The Bible says this, To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. My brother, my sister, my friend, only in Jesus Christ, our past can be settled, which is very much needed. Because in the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, verse 27, God says like this, It is appointed for all men to die once and stand for judgment. Judgment is coming. No one can escape. No one can escape. We need to settle our past. No one is without sin. We are all sinners. We want our sins to be forgiven. We need our sins to be forgiven. For that, we need Jesus. Only in Jesus Christ, we can receive forgiveness for our sins. When that happens, when we take, when we repent of our sins, 
when we believe in Jesus and when we take baptism in Jesus name our sins are forgiven and then we receive the Holy Spirit and when we are in Jesus in Christ following the Holy Spirit we are out of condemnation we are out of damnation that's what the Bible says and in future that is security only in Jesus that's what Jesus said in the book of John chapter 14 verse 2 and 3 in my father's house there are many mansions I'm going to prepare one for you and I will come and I will take you to be with me where I am what a wonderful promise that is my brother my sister my friend Bible says for our conversation is in heaven that's what we read in the book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 20 in Revelation 21 verse 4 God says in heaven there will be tears there will be pain there will be sorrows there will be death you see every human being need to settle their past every human being need to safeguard their present and every human being need to secure their future my brother my sister my friend this is available only in Jesus Christ only in Jesus Christ one can be settled with their past one can safeguard their present and one can secure their future in heaven for eternity my brother my sister my friend God loves you Jesus loves you I love you until we meet again may God continue to be with you as well amen hallelujah